Welcome my beauties and today we're talking all things red lipstick, one of my absolute favourites. I absolutely love red lips but I wish I had a dollar for every time someone says to me, oh can't possibly do red lips, it's not for me, I don't have the lips for it. Well I'm here to tell you that you absolutely can do red lips and there's a formulation in colour for everybody. So I'm Peggy Stasinos from Peggy Stasinos Makeup and I'm a hair and makeup artist and my passion is to make my clients look better than they could have ever imagined. Basically, as I always say, it's about you only better. So let's start talking reds. So I think one of the reasons many women are afraid of red lips is because they have an image like this. You know, she's got real full lips and she can absolutely pull off a red. And that's fine, but you know, there's various in-betweens that you can cover off and not everything has to, or not every red lip has to be about that. But there are some things that you need to think about when choosing a red. And um, I'm gonna cover those today, um, but you don't need big magnificent lips to pull off a, a red lipstick, that's for sure. So the first thing that to consider is your undertone. So are you cool based or are you yellow based, more warm based tones? And look, there's a general rule of thumb. Um, it's easily Googled that, you know, on the back of your wrist, if your veins are bluer, then you're more cooler. If they're greener, then you're more warmer. Well, that's fine. You can absolutely go by that. And I certainly um, have used that in the past, but you know, some women tend to be a bit of both. Um, generally, the more porcelain-y, more, cool, more pale girls, they tend to be able to pull off um, more cool-based reds, and they are the most blue-based reds. So here's a, here's a little picture of it. And um, the warmer skin tones, girls that have more olive complexions, more, you know, a bit more Mediterranean looking even, they tend to be able to use um, more um, clear reds, brick reds, orangey reds that would suit them. And then there's everyone in between. So I'm one of those in between, where in summer, I, where I'm a bit more tanned, um, I can definitely get away with wearing um, warmer reds, um, clear based brick reds. And in the winter, like it is now, I go for the more blue based reds. So today I'm actually wearing my favorite red, which is MAC, um, Russian red. And that's a blue based red. So it's got, you know, a little bit of blue in it. And look, it, it, it works well, but I probably wouldn't wear this in, in the summer. I'd wear a, a more brick base red. So that's the first thing to consider what your undertone is. Next is to think of the finish. And no, this isn't going to be a science lesson. But not all lipsticks are the same. There's powdered ones, there's lock glosses, there's satin, there's matte, there's and everything in between. Um, and really, this comes down to personal preference, but I also think it comes down to your lip shape. So if you have very skinny lips, really dark, intense reds with a lot of pigment are probably not your thing. You might go for a lighter, glossier red, um, which makes your lips look fuller. Obviously, girls that have the, the nice full lips, they can pull off anything, but it would be they any any consistency um, and finish. You know, they can go glosses and, and normal traditional creamy lipsticks. And look, there's lots of um, there's lots of in betweens. As I say, it really does come down to personal preference. But if you if you if you're scared of wearing a red, you can always go even a balmy type red. So this one is um, a butter me up balm. It's from Palladio Beauty, it's a nice one. And it looks very, very pigmented. It looks quite pink there, but it's actually not. But when you put it on, there's hardly just a tiny little bit of color and they're just as good too. So you can actually get achieve a really, really nice red look without too much color. It just all depends on how confident you are, but I think it comes down to experimenting. Um, this, these are the more sheer colours and there's lots of different finishes out there. Um, Morph crayons, NARS make a couple um, in, in the balmy type sheer colours. I think the, the, their lip balm in Turbo is a beautiful red. Glosses, everyone knows glosses and my, one of my favourites is um, 
Chanel Chili Lip Gloss, um, also NYX from Priceline. So there's, you know, all the different price points as well. Um, some of their butter glosses are beautiful and they make a really nice one called Red Velvet and that's just beautiful. And you don't even have to put it on as you would a traditional gloss. You can even just put a little bit on your finger and dab it on and to achieve a beautiful, beautiful red look. So the other colours, um, you know, creamy lipsticks, um, satin lipsticks, everyone from MAC, MAC to Rimmel to all in between make million different types and lots of different reds. Some of my favourites are the Chanel Rouge in 99 Pirate, that's one of their big colours. MAC Chili Red, um, I've actually got that, it's beautiful, that's a, a, a nice um, warm red and um, Rimmel makes some beautiful ones too and Dat Red is one of the colours. I've also tried more recently uh, a really nice L'Oreal lip paint. It's a matte, it's, it's sort of one of those lip paints that you know dry beautifully on your lips and you hardly feel that you're wearing it and they're very long lasting. Um, some of their reds are really, really gorgeous too. And then there's the metallic reds, and these aren't for everybody. They're more for, I would say, an evening event or something um, a bit more special. And they've got a more of a lustrous pearl finish, and the most, my favourite is one of the Trini London ones called Valentina. Um, that's a beautiful, um, beautiful red for special occasions. So how do you apply it? Well, what I would recommend is you don't do it in the car when you rush. Doesn't matter whether you're um, what where you're going. I think take the thirty seconds and do it properly. Um, always have your lips nicely prepared, and um, I like to use a lip scrub. So a little, even a bit of sugar with some Vaseline rubbed over the lips and wiped clean can um, um, really do wonders for for lipstick and the way it looks. If you've got really cracked lips, a dark red matte is not going to sit nice. So it's as anything, if the canvas is beautiful and if the canvas is clean and flat, it will always look a lot better. So take the time to soften up your lips, wear lip balm, especially now in the um, cooler months where I am, your lips can get very, very cracked and dry. Keep lip balm handy, particularly um, when you're going for a walk or even before bed, it really does help um, with your lips. Do you need to use a lip brush? Not necessarily or even a lip pencil. So if you're just, you know, going somewhere, maybe out to dinner um, or anywhere really work, you know, you don't want to go through 15 steps to apply red lipstick. Um, just apply it as you would, but just make sure your lips are nicely prepped. If you tend to bleed, a little bit of concealer dabbed on just before does tend to help with the bleeding. I find that um, much, uh, it really does help. Um, but generally, the darker the hue and the more the, um, if the more matte or lip paints, they do take a little bit of, um, a good 30 seconds to apply properly. Um, obviously, if it's just a balm like this one, or even this is a lovely gloss here from Kiko, um, you know, you can easily apply it without, without too much fuss. But anything where, you know, the colour's deep and the colour's quite intense, you want to try and make sure that you do a nice, finish. Um, when I'm going out to an evening event or something really special, I will apply a lip liner and certainly to my clients, I absolutely apply lip liner, but it's not necessary to do it every single time. So I've shared some of my um, favourite reds. Um, what are your favourite reds? Please tell me and um, I'd love to know more. Uh, there's again, there's, there's a colour for everyone. Don't be afraid of them. They are absolutely, you'll feel great wearing reds. The only other final tip that I would leave you with, if you're doing a big bold red like I have kind of today, you've got to keep the eyes fairly neutral. So I haven't gone over the top with my eyes today. I've just done a, just a wash of colour and um, just a very, very light eyeliner. But, you know, if you've got the big smoky eye going with cut creases and everything, you know, you'd want something a little bit more nude on the lips. So save the reds, they look better. It's either the lips or the eyes or the eyes or the lips. I think with red, a, a, a more gentler eye and um, less dramatic eye makeup always looks better. So there you have it. I'll be doing more of these from everything from skincare to foundations and I'm, I'm currently researching nude lipsticks because that's the other big question I get asked a lot about. Leave me your comments of what you'd like to see. Share this one with someone that you think would love it. 
And as always, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye, my beauties.